I see people that um, are very successful and appear to have um, a good business sense. But they have negative yearnings and not very positive within themselves and the way they do business. How do they do that? And how do they come forth and prosper? Well, there are two things that we want you to hear fully. First is we are not advocates of looking to financial success as the big trophy. Mm -hmm. And we are not looking at it to not be a sign of success. We're just saying when you equate financial success with having figured it out there's something a little out of whack there and the other thing that we want to say is it is certainly possible to achieve a level of what humans would call success through action without really lining up energy very well but it is minuscule by comparison with what happens when you align energy so anything that anyone is living no matter what it is is a perfect reflection of the balance of their energy so sometimes people really really want something and even though they are negative about one thing and another you can often see someone who has a spot strong expectation relative to money while they have negative expectations relative to other things so relative to money they are doing a bit of thriving while relative to joy and happiness and alignment not so much it's sort of what we were getting at as we were visiting earlier as we were trying to tease from our friend the realization that what he really wants is alignment and then everything else will follow but there is no question there are people who find ways to bang things into place through hard work or through action who are not in alignment enough that you would call them joyous but still they are getting some measure of what humans call success so they don't comprehend this experience they just somehow do it and they're not truly happy well no one gets to decide what what is happiness for anyone else and in reality you really can't know because you can't get in you don't know who they were before they came into this body and you don't know what this life has caused them to become and you don't really know what they're thinking and so you can't tell for sure what the vibrational relationship is in anyone else and sometimes as our friend pointed out and it was really a meaningful conversation that we had sometimes people feel a way that is different from what they are articulating because they are trying to affect the way you feel about them in other words, there are a lot of people that are perfectly joyful in the success that they have found but when they find jealousy from others about it then they try to play their success down and talk about all the hard work that they've offered when if we were there we'd clear it up right then and there and say to them it wasn't your hard work that got you there it was your hard work that made you put it in vibrational escrow but it wasn't until you let go that you found the way and every one of them if they were really listening to what is going on would agree that there was always a letting go and an allowance of what was wanted so as you're trying to figure out what other people are living it's not the easiest thing because you can't get inside to feel what they were feeling mm -hmm. okay. something more did we get there at all do you yes. feel satisfied with that yes it's a little tricky because most humans are watching the results that others are achieving and then trying to figure out how they achieved those results and it is so much simpler when you realize that all results are about this vibrational alignment and then you just work on your alignment then you can factor out all of that other stuff that just serves to confound and confuse you it's making sense I'm very new to this so that helped me out very much very good thank you yes indeed <laughs>